you have been singing for so many years and blowing people's minds with your ability. And I was just curious, there's a lot of people that they learn to sing, they train. Mm -hmm. This is clearly a God-given talent. When did you realize you could do this? Um, you know, it's just always been something that I've, I've really been passionate about and I just always love to do it. I would just open my mouth up as a little girl and... That would... sound would come out? <laughs> as a little girl? So naughty, I'm talking about being a little girl and yes, opening my mouth and the These sound that would sick. come they really out. Do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But really, how, um, how... I, I would throw a, a towel on the floor. That was my stage. A shampoo bottle as my icophone. Oh my right. god, I'm, I'm trying to tell a story, and they're still hung up on the. <laughs> they disgust me, these people. Um, <laughs> they really disgust me. Uh, but I'm, I'm curious because uh, it. I mean, how young were you, honestly, when um, you realized? I was in diapers. That... I was definitely. I was in diapers. I was probably three years old, and I just know that the shampoo was my icophone, the towel was my stage, and um, it was just ever since. You know, and I loved old old soul. Right. You couldn't give me anything else to sing but like Etta James and Billie Holiday. And Etta James like is, you'll be singing some Etta James I, later I in the do, show. Which it's is partly in the movie. why, yeah, I love doing it for the movie. Um, you, I'm just curious, I know you have a, a three year old boy. Yes. And I'm curious, uh, do you ever try and sing him to sleep? <clears throat> and do you use the full on Christina Aguilera voice? <laughs> I, I was know. trying to picture I that. Just belt know? out into like Lady Marmalade. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that is not what you sound like, by the way. <laughs> I, I said, the wheels you. on the bus, I said, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> wheels on the bus, I said, ah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That was really good. I'll keep that in mind for, uh, for tonight. <laughs> no, but, don't uh, do that to but, people. <laughs> no, I mean, sometimes, yeah. I mean, I, I definitely don't bring out the pipes for the right. lullabies for yeah. bed. But, but he has a mind of his own. He'll just, sometimes he he's sometimes my worst critic. He'll be like, oh, oh no, mommy, not, not Twinkle Twinkle. No, not tonight. It would be like, you know, Wheels on the Bus is right. one of his favorites or something else. Oh, but he, will, he oh. will straight up tell me, like, no, no, not that one. That is so one. funny. He doesn't know who he's talking to yet. He just know, mm -hmm. which is great. He knows who's mom. Be like, eh, no, don't sing, please. <laughs> Get some mac and cheese and uh, <laughs> um, the costumes in this movie. You wear some amazing costumes in this Thank movie. You. Very sexy outfits. Oh. And you, uh, uh, you were dressed as a, uh, you're a lady cop, very sexy cop. And uh -huh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be, no, uh, no, I'm surprised. No, I, I, I was, uh, yeah, I was very, uh, very, you, you looked amazing. Thank I want to say, you. and I don't know if that's just me. I'm very. I'm you surprised know. to hear that from you because you gave me a lot of grief. I remember years and years ago for mm -hmm. um, my assless chaps moment in time for mm -hmm. a song called Dirty. Uh huh. I remember and, that. And well. I, I remember hearing a lot of stuff about your stand-up being very um, negative towards the sexuality no, 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 no. involved. No. No. And so no. I always pegged you as a very anti-sexual yeah. kind of guy. Yeah, like, no. Just not. Oh, you got that so not wrong. Really. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so you're into so the whole the dominatrix fish, <laughs> sexy cop. Where have you been, man? You like yeah. To, yeah, you like to be tied I, uh, up I'm and very and into, Yes, <laughs> I love the assless chaps. Oh. Uh, what you were getting when a comedian goes on and on about someone uh, attractive wearing assless chaps, yes. it's jealousy. Oh, oh. It's pure jealousy. I do, I'm not able to express my sexuality that way. Next time I'm on, you can sport a pair of assless chaps to make it up to me. I'm wearing them now. <laughs> I'm wearing them under these pants. Okay, okay. Just wanted you to know that, if I, that makes I'm, you comfortable. I kind of like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're so, I mean, you're very comfortable, obviously very comfortable with your body, and not all of us are. Hello. Uh, <laughs> hi, how are you? Um, is that you're just, uh, you know, so able to express yourself that way, that it must yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, and that's, um, you know, the, or the big misconception sometimes about burlesque. Some people think it's, you know, stripping even or, right. or the strip tease, but this is all about the art of the tease and what you don't see and how sensual and beautiful and amazing the art form of burlesque is. So it really gives moviegoers an opportunity to see that and it put in the right light. And um, yeah, it's really a beautiful piece of work.